I know that doping has become a big thing in the athletic world and then preventing it and making sure that when people win, they win fair and square. But um, it's very interesting to see like how they started it and the way that it did go over the top, it started affecting people and affected people who did not deserve for it to be affected. Like there are people consciously taking it to win the competition and be better um, by cheating. Whereas you have someone like Rick Dumont, who it was for his asthma medicine. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's a very good way to, to bring awareness to the fact that there are people who have paved the way and unfortunately sacrificed their career um, for where a lot of athletes are now. And he didn't even mean to do it, but he definitely did um, make a change. Uh, I think it was very interesting that Steve, Stephen and David went out of their way to clear it to clear his name and like, you know, try and get his medals back and whatnot. I thought that was really cool. Um, visually wise, I thought this piece was really cool. I really liked the um, animations in the title sequence. I really liked how Steven and David were like somewhat animated. I don't know what kind of animation that was, but kind of to make them like pixelated. And it's like you shot it with a real person, but like put animation over it. I think that was actually really cool. Um, and then them explaining his story intermittent with his interview from like, was it 2006 or 2008? I thought that was very interesting too, because as they were telling the story, Stephen and David were basically like pulling what they knew from that story and talking about how, oh, because he said this, this is that and the third, this is how we're going to be able to help him get his medal back. So I thought that was a really cool way to explain his story and also explain how they were able to help him. I thought this was a uh, interesting subject matter and that like I had never heard of bro before and that came away no Ambrose story with an appreciation for, uh, you know, bro story and also the Olympics and how and all of that goes into it. Um, I also liked how y'all animated the like how y'all presented it as far as like the animation narration pseudo narration between the presented in the form of dialogue between the two like investigator types, and then animated it. I thought that was a unique format that um, I really rocked with rather than just like traditional narration or only interviews. Uh, I thought it worked. Um, I thought the animation was dope. The way in which this documentary tells the tale through the animation choice was really intriguing and creative and engaging to watch, which allows the audience to really embrace what is happening and then and sort of let it sink in. I love how this documentary is this educational piece showing showing us as the audience what happened and how Rick's story sort of paved the way for others who suffer from the same thing. This was a great documentary put together and overall everything just works together. This was a fascinating documentary and I know that because it wasn't something I thought I had any interest in and within the first few minutes I was immediately just uh i was hooked i was drawn in um and yeah it's just pieced together so well so thorough it seems um so much uh footage so much archive stuff uh, it builds this great um uh, case and we get all the, the the human interest uh touchstones along the way throughout the eras um uh, really smartly put together uh, it's just such a compelling piece. I was shocked to hear the account of Rick Dumont and how he lost his gold medal in swimming because of something in his asthma medication. The film did an excellent job giving the backstory of how and why the medal was taken away. However, there are also very telling interviews that show the errors against Rick that were made. I love the clever animations throughout the film, giving it a surreal quality. The music was very dramatic, which worked well for the story. I also really enjoyed seeing the videos in the 70s. I hope he can get his medal back someday. This documentary was very informative. It shows the Olympic process and how sometimes it was even unfair, especially in Rick's case where he took a medicine that was prescribed to him and got a gold medal taken away. 